What's up world, Matt here. And today I wanna to practice the skill of storytelling with you. So first, let me tell you about what I did yesterday. Yesterday I went with my friends to a farm nearby where they have a pumpkin patch. It's fall here and we're getting ready to celebrate Halloween. So my friends and I got some pumpkins so we could decorate our apartments. At this farm, there was also a corn maze the farmers grew an entire field of corn, then they cut the shape of a maze into the cornfield. My friends and I walked through this giant labyrinth of corn and we got lost. It was amazing. So now you tell me, what did you do yesterday? Nice, sounds like you had an interesting day. I also had a really productive weekend last weekend. Last weekend, I organized my entire apartment. I moved around where I was storing things in the closet, and I also went grocery shopping, and I learned to cook a new recipe. I cooked risotto, an Italian rice dish that I probably need to learn to pronounce better. Risotto? Risotto. So I took the rice, I put it in a pot, and then I added a little bit of water, and I cooked it slowly. Then I added a little bit more water and I stirred. I added a little water and I stirred and I cooked like this for about 30 minutes. It was a really fun process. So I had a productive weekend. I organized, I grocery shopped, and I learned a new recipe. Now you tell me about your last weekend. What are a few things that you did last weekend? Nice, thanks for sharing. Let's practice one more conversation before we get a little bit deeper into how to tell stories in the past tense. I wanna hear about what you did last month. I had an interesting last month. I traveled to Romania to work at a conference with some English teachers from three different countries. I made friends with English teachers from Romania, Moldova, and Ukraine. We shared ideas about how to work with our students, we saw castles, and we had a really wonderful week together. Um, that's what I did last month. What did you do last month? Thanks for sharing. It's been nice to connect over what we've been doing yesterday, last weekend, and last month. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I really like to tell stories. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I'd like to tell you a story about a trip that I went on about 10 years ago. One of the other things I really like to do is photography. So I'll also show you some pictures from my travels. So when I was 22 years old, I went backpacking in the Amazon. I left from Manaus on a boat to cross river after river. Finally, I arrived at a houseboat deep in the jungle. I saw pink dolphins early one morning. I heard birds singing and playing in the trees. And I ate fresh pineapple cut right from the plant. I liked the feeling of mystery on the horizon. I said nothing as the sun rose. I watched the sky turn pink, red, orange and blue. I had an amazing experience. I will never forget. Did you like my story? I hope so. Now, let me ask you some questions to see what you understood. And then we can look a little bit more closely at the words that I used to help me tell my story. So first, when did this story happen? What do you remember about when this story happened? Yeah, this story happened in the past. Specifically, it happened when I was 22 years old. So you could say it happened in the past or when Matt was 22. Nice. Um, did the actions happen now or before now? Yeah, all of these actions happened before, when I was younger, in the past. 
right? When I'm telling a story, I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about things that happened before, right? Behind me in time. Okay, finally, what actions do you remember from the story? What were some of the things that I did on my travels? Nice. I don't expect you to remember everything. I only said the story once, but that was a great job remembering some of the actions. I went backpacking, left Manaus, arrived at a houseboat, saw dolphins, heard birds, ate pineapple, said nothing, and watched the sky rise. I had an amazing experience. Nice. Okay, so that's my story. Now I want to do a little bit of practice with you all using the specific words that I use to tell my story to see if they'll help you all tell stories about your lives. Now I want to practice these specific past tense action verbs using a strategy that my friend Lois finds really helpful. When she needs to learn new words in another language, she likes to practice chants and repetitions. She finds that that musical sound helps her remember. So let's listen to Lois doing a chant of some of these action verbs, and then we'll practice it, you and me, and see what we can do. Irregular verbs chant. I go. Last night I went. I leave. Last night I left. I arrive. Last night I arrived. I see. But I saw. I hear, last night I heard, I eat, last night I ate, I say, last night I said, I have, but I had. All right, nice. So I think that chant is a nice way for us to practice these words, but I also think we can do something to spice it up a little bit. After all, it is YouTube. So let me get something really quick. I need that. Here we go, little groove box. Just get this plugged in here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna hold down the beat and we're gonna do this two times through. First time just me, then second time with you. I go. Last night I went, I leave. Last night I left, I arrived. Last night I arrived, I don't see, but I saw. I hear. Last night I heard, I eat. Last night I ate, I say. Last night I said I had him, but I had you and me. I go. Last night I went, I leave. Last night I left, I arrived. Last night I arrived, I don't see, but I saw. I hear. Last night I heard I eat. Last night I ate I say. Last night I said I had him, but I had. Said I had him, but I had. What? I had him, but I had. I say last night I said it. Said I had him, but I had. Yeah. All right. So that was some nice practice practicing these words. Noticing how go changes into when, leave changes into left, arrive changes into arrived, see changes into saw, hear changes into heard, eat changes into ate, say changes into said, and have changes into had. All right, let's try something else. Now, let's see if all that chanting and repetition has helped you remember how to say these actions in the past tense. I'm gonna show you the pictures from my story again, and I want you to try and retell the story about me. I'll remind you of what the action is in the present, and then I want you to say a sentence of what happened to Matt in the past, all right? So, the first part of the story is this action. Go backpacking. So you can look at this picture and go, okay, that's gonna be uh, 
when he was 22, Matt went backpacking. All right, so I'll show you the picture and you say that. That's your example. Now you try with this picture. How about for the second action of the story, leave Manaus. Yeah, Matt left Manaus on a boat. That's a nice way to say it. Okay, action number three. Arrive at a houseboat. What happened next? Yeah, Matt arrived at a houseboat on the river. Nice. Okay, the next action in the story. See pink dolphins. What happened next? Yeah, Matt saw pink dolphins. Nice. Okay, next up in the story. Hear birds sing. What happened? Yeah, Matt heard birds sing in the trees. Nice. Okay, next up. Eat fresh pineapple. Yeah, Matt ate fresh pineapple right on the plant. Excellent memory. Okay, next up. This one's a tricky one. What was it? This action is like the feeling of mystery. Yeah, Matt liked the feeling of mystery. Absolutely. Okay, next up, one of my favorite photographs I've ever taken. Say nothing and watch the sky. Yeah, Matt said nothing and watched the sky. Nice job putting both of those actions in the past tense. Okay, one more. Have an amazing experience. That's absolutely right. Matt had an amazing experience on his backpacking trip in the Amazon. Great job remembering and retelling that story. For our last practice today, I want you to try and tell me a long story with lots of different actions using some of these new past tense action words we've been practicing. So first, I'll give you an example. I'll tell you a story with about six or seven different actions in it using some of these words that we've been practicing. Then I'll give you a chance to pause the video and try telling a story about something that happened in the past for you. So let me think. Hmm. Well, at the beginning of class, I started telling you about how last month I went to Romania. Let me tell you more about that trip. So last month I went to Romania. I left from San Antonio, Texas, and I went in three airplanes for 24 hours. I arrived in Bucharest, Romania, very tired. In Romania, I ate delicious soups and fresh vegetables. I saw castles and forests that were beautiful. I said hello to people from six different countries and I had an amazing time with my new friends. So that's what I did last month when I went to Romania. All right, now I'd love to hear from you. Why don't you think about something that has happened to you recently that was a nice experience? It doesn't need to be a huge trip, but think about a day or a moment in which you did several different things so you can practice using some of these words to tell a story. Try saying that out loud and maybe even record yourself and listen back to see if you're saying these words in the past tense, just as well as we've been practicing them all day. Alrighty, well, you get to practicing that and I am going to go decorate this apartment for Halloween. Thanks so much, goodbye, and until next time, keep practicing.